so good night. Uh get this tea. Valerian Nights. Very good tea. Tastes like cookies. That's what I I'm into. How about we just chat here for a sec? I like this tea. Because it tastes like cookies, and it seems to be my favorite thing is when something tastes like cookies. But it's not cookies. <laughs> it seems to be my favorite type of tea. Or like I had that carrot cake muffin one. Like I wanna find like a, I think at one point they had birthday cake too. And Meg didn't buy that and I was so upset. I bet I could find that. Hang on. David's tea. Birthday cake. Uh yes, it is a tea. And yeah, it has sprinkles in it. Let me show you this shit. Let me show you what this looks like. So get that off the screen here. Put this here instead. Can I paste it? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah. So can I just do this? I can't do that. Okay. Well, save that. On the put it on the desktop with a stupid name. Okay. Put it right there. Boom. There it is. Okay. You can see there's actually sprinkles in it. So let's see what this is. In and she didn't buy this. I kept saying, yeah, get birthday cake, birthday cake, birthday cake. And she didn't. Like, what? Sweet and festive ruby Riobos? Riob I never know how to pronounce this. Let's learn something together. Here, let's go. How do you pronounce that? Oh, here we go. Roybos. Oh, all right an African tea. Alright. Festive rooibos tea brings the taste of birthday cake to your cup any day of the year. Rainbow sprinkles and all. Creamy vanilla twist has a craveable is just as craveable as a real dessert. And with all of the goodness of rooibos and next to no calories this caffeine free infusion lets you have your cake and eat it too. Ho ho! I really want to try it. So there's a, what's in here? A red Rooibos. That's a new word I gotta learn. Honey bush. I don't know what that is. So let's see. let's see. Search for honey bush. It's um, it is a plant. Okay. Also known as cyclopia. That's how they call honey bush. Green rooibos. Okay. Sprinkles. Okay. Yeah. Got your normal stuff in there. Um, lots of colors. Yeah. Natural and artificial. Vanilla and icing flavoring. <laughs> icing flavoring. Probably a bit of like artificial butter flavoring too, there too, as I learned is what the real birthday cake flavor really is. Anyway, it looks amazing. I bet it smells ama amazing. It probably tastes amazing, and she didn't get it. It's infuriating. So I want to get my hands on some of that eventually. Maybe for my birthday. Hey! Anyway. Um, Tetley also had this one, uh, what they call it, their Tetley infusions or something. Uh, it was a blueberry tea, and I could only ever find it at one food land in Beaton. And nowhere else, for some reason. Uh, another one, it was unfortunately a limited time tea. I had it once, though, because I was at someone else's house who had it, and I, but I can't find it anywhere, and they haven't brought it back since. Tetley had... A, um, what was it now? Cookies and cream, was it? Cookies and cream, I think? Oh, my God. It tasted just like cookies and cream, like the chocolate bar. It was like, oh, my God. What else was there? That's my favorite tea that I had. Oh, there's this one that comes out uh, around Christmas from Celestial Seasonings. It's so fucking good. I... Uh, you would go to the bu the bulk barn whenever I had a chance and just buy another two or three boxes and just stock up on that shit because I would go through that like there's, uh, I don't know, no tomorrow because of a pandemic happening or something. It was um, gingerbread, I think. How can I not remember, like, my favorite fucking tea in the whole world? Uh, but it was, I'm pretty sure it was gingerbread. It was amazing. It was... Not exactly like eating gingerbread, but it was. I don't like just, you know, ginger in your face. I like, you know, a light sort of ginger. Anyway, 
Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but it was so good. <laughs> it, but it had a something Megan didn't like. It had a bit of a tingle, which I liked. I like when the tea will tingle a little. <laughs> Except if it's mint. <laughs> I don't know. Um, that That's iconic. I can't wait for Christmas just so I can get more of that tea. Uh, or I could see if I can order it online. I don't know. Um, I think Tetley had another couple like that as well. Oops. Sorry, scratching the mic. Um, man, what else was there? Uh, well, I mean, like, like I was saying, she likes a really <laughs> weak chai latte. I like Starbucks chai latte because I think it just has a bit more of kick to it. Wakes you up a little, which is nice. Um, what else? Uh, oh, yeah. So, I was mentioned bergamot kisses. I think it's pronounced bergamot. Anyway, so she got me this tea set from David's Tea for Valentine's Day because Valentine's? Yes, Valentine's Day. Because we love tea, and especially we love David's Tea. Um, it came with one. It was, uh, what was it? I think it was like strawberry, uh, chocolate dipped strawberry. That was it. Chocolate dipped strawberry. Oh, man. That was that was great. Uh, yeah, I can find that one too. Maybe not. Chocolate covered strawberry. Yep, you can still buy it on its own. I can't remember what the other one was though. Uh, let's see if it's under gifts though. Probably not though right now. Yeah, not right now. Uh, yeah, I don't think I could find that right now. It's out of season, I think. But I came with this other one. Uh, uh, the other two teas were fucking awesome. Um, but this one called Bergamot Kisses. <sighs> I don't know how to describe the horrendous flavor. Besides, like, if you drank your grandmother's favorite perfume. That's all I can think. It's just... Oh, it was awful. What is a Bergamot? Bergamot. I believe it's like a... Disgusting orange or something. Okay, let's see what it's a bergamot orange. Okay, uh, blah, 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 blah. fragrant. Oh, I'd say citrus fruit the size of an orange with a yellow or green color, similar to a lime, depending on ripeness. Genetic research into the ancestral origins of extent extant citrus cultivators found bergamot orange to be a probable hybrid of a lemon and bitter orange. Huh, that sounds awful. Extracts have been used to scent food, p perfumes, and cosmetics. Oh, excuse me? It's been used to scent perfumes? Like I said, it tasted like perfume. Use on the skin can increase photosensitivity. What? Resulting in greater damage from sun exposure? That sounds awful. Why would anyone eat this? Why would you do that? Anyway, it tastes... I, I, I told you. I told you it tasted like perfume. That's because it is. I told you. It was just absolutely disgusting. And sometimes I can just still remember the flavor and what it did to my me. And I still just flinch from it. Like, ooh, it's coming again. It's going to attack me. So let me find David's. I got a feeling what the other one is. David's tea. Now, oh, time. Uh, heartthrob teas. I don't think that was it. Oh, the David's Tea Archive. There we go. There we go. 2019. That's not it, but okay. Um, is this it? Oh, tea lovers guy. Okay, well, hang on a second. Uh, Chocolate caramels, not sharp red cookies. Excuse me. Oh. No, okay, that's not actually... I thought there was a tea that tastes like shortbread cookies. It's not. Oh, yeah, it came in these lovely little heart tins, too. It was nice. Uh, oh, man. Um, maybe I can't find it now. I don't know. Maybe we just have to use the Wayback Machine now. Elixir for him? Elixir for her? No, that's not what it was. Um, oh, was it hibiscus? Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna use the Wayback Machine real quick. Uh, Wayback Machine. 
uh, what's David T? David's T website. I'm trying to say whatever. David's T.com. Okay. All right. Do that. Yeah. Do that. But instead of playing a game, I'm just talking about T because whatever. Fuck it. Whatever. I'll do what I want. Okay. Not the boss of me. I'll talk about T all I want. Detox collection. Uh, no. Uh, uh, yeah, sounds great. Okay. Um, hmm. Oh, no. Go oh, wait. Let me search. Okay, English. Okay. Ah, uh, I don't think I can find that kit now. Uh, gifts? Teaware? No. Gifts. I don't think I can find it now. Uh, well, I can find those tins, and I'd be able to tell you what it was. Really good, though. A little fruity, I think it was. I don't know. There's a Wayback Machine app on Google. Oh, that's interesting. I don't care. Let's look at some teas and see what else we can uh, we want to buy. Fuck it. Whatever. Uh, yeah. This. Yeah, good chrome. <laughs> Look at this. Okay. Oh, I don't want to show you my bookmarks. Uh. Oh, hang on. Uh, it's fine. Okay, cold brew teas. Oh, they have them in cans. Oh, that's fucking great. All right. Cold teas. Oh, man. All right, what we got right now? Magic potion. I think that one was pretty cool because it could actually change color. Like, it goes from blue to red or something. It's kind of neat. Strawberry rhubarb parfait, I think, was really good, too. It just it tastes like pretty much strawberry rhubarb jam. Pretty oasis. I've tried that. Take a look at some fucking teas. Just show me everything. Show me all teas. Just loose leaf tea, whatever. I don't care about anything else. What we got? What we got? Tropic mango. Viscous splash. I think we tried a bit of that just as a sampler. Really good. OG pop. Magic dragon. Ooh. Exotica. Uh, Blackberry blizzard. Organic baby's little helper. What the fuck does that mean? There's more tea there. Could you just show me like every tea you have? I'd, j I'd just like to see every tea. What do you? This one's for you with fenugreek fennel. Oh no, I don't like fennel. Calming lemon balm. That's that's fine. The organic herbal tea is overflowing with soothing ingredients, widely used to help with breastfeeding. Oh, I don't want that. Not for me anyway. I got big enough boobs. Thank you. Melonade. That sounds good. Does it have actually bits of melon in it or something? Get your tea out of my face for a second. All right, let's check the ingredients here. Apple, melon, melon, sucrose, citric acid, honey, yeah, carrot, green tea, roasted chicory root, lemon peel, beetroot. That's always interesting when they put vegetables in it. Let's see all the rest of the herbal teas we got here. Wow. That looks like a really stupid process, but whatever. Whoa! Look at that purple shit. All right, we gotta take a look at the purple shit. It's bubble gum. Blue bubble gum fan, I guess. Oh, how does it taste? Deep fruity sweet with a sharp bubble gum note. <laughs> like cooling finish. Okay. Take a trip down memory lane with this cool novelty infusion with mouth watering tropical fruit flavors and beautiful blue. Butterfly pea flowers. What is that? It's a nostalgic, caffeine-free indulgence everyone can enjoy. Tap into its juicy freshness by sipping it on ice. Apple, rose hips, pineapple, pineapple sugar. Okay, apple, rump, pumice. Okay, so like zest, basically. Butterfly pea flowers. What is that? Natural, juicy fruit. Yellow cream flavoring. Excuse me, juicy fruit flavoring? So there's like the f whatever flavor juicy fruit uses is in there? Corn flour and citric acid. 
what is butterfly pea flower? Wow! Look how blue this stuff is! It's known as blue tea. Oh my god. What does this actual flower look like, though? I don't know, but people just put in their tea and they turn it purple. Wow, that looks amazing. I'd definitely try that. Especially if it tastes like bubble gum. Fuck yeah. What else we got? Unicorn Dream. Alright, let's have a look at that. Caribbean Crush. I have some of that. Actually, it's really good, too. Sweet Tart. <gasps> that was the other one, I think, that was in there. Yeah, there was the chocolate-covered strawberry, sweet tart, and garbage. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that would taste great. It's your favorite aroma, perfect balance between sweet and tart. It was on this caffeine-free cherry drink. It was love at first sight. It got an irresistible balance of sweetness and tartness, plus a classic red cherry aroma that will sweep you off your feet. Refreshing ice or hot. I mean, they all are, honestly. This fruit infusion of ripe cherries, hibiscus, of blossoms, and little candy hearts will totally steal your... So what else is? I love when they put candy in it and sprinkles and stuff. So apple pieces, raisins, carrot pieces, hibiscus, blossoms, artificial, blah blah blah, beetroot, and sugar hearts. Okay, sour cherries. Oh, nice. Okay, and potato starch. As uh, I mean, obviously, you gotta put potato starch in all your tea, right? Caribbean Crush. I got some of this. Uh, actually, at Zare's, surprisingly. Sometimes you can get David's tea and some other fancy ass tea at uh, Zares. Uh, blah, 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 travel food punch. So I think there's like something like breadcrumbs. What is that? It looks like breadcrumbs. Um, oh, it could just be papaya, maybe. I don't know. Apple, pineapple, papaya, hibiscus, cran cranberries, and flavoring. Okay. Um, have I tried this yet? I don't know. Well, I guess we can try it next time. I might make it into an iced tea because it's hot. What's hot here? Look at the little unicorn sprinkles here. I love it. Tart and light citrus notes morph into a sweetened cotton candy flavor with a lovely finish that's smooth and creamy. Ooh, I gotta try this. Warning. This tea will add some magic to your day. Oh, shit. Well, I can't have any of that. Caffeine-free fusion is filled with smile-inducing ingredients from blue butterfly pea. That blue stuff again. So what's in here? Apple. They love putting apples in it. Hibiscus blossoms. That again. A coconut. Lemongrass. Artificial cotton candy flavoring. And marshmallows. <laughs> marshmallows. That's great. Whoa. A lot of... Rat, um, rat, uh, what's the word? Ingredients. That's it. Sunflower blossom. Stevia extract. Oh, so it's like already sweetened for you. Butterfly pea flowers. I can. Okay. They mentioned that one already. That's all. Sugar pearls. So this is like oh, all kinds of stuff in here. Cocoa butter. Candied pineapple. Potato starch again. Heart sprinkles, yeah, okay, so they got everything in here. I gotta try this one. Uh, I gotta keep this one open. Just peachy. I have that one too. I haven't tried it yet, I don't think. Uh, maybe next time then. I don't know. Uh, is the peachiest ever? Oh, wait, yes, I remember this tastes just like fuzzy peach. Candies, fuzzy peaches. Yes, 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 yes. Forever nuts. Megan didn't like this one, but I thought it was great. Uh, I she got me a big old pack of Christmas teas, and it was uh, most of them I really liked. I think it was just the peppermint ones. The one really just tasted like toothpaste, and the other one tasted like peppermint, and I don't like it. I don't like peppermint. I put them. The rest of them were fucking awesome. I wish I could have that set back. Oh, I do have the list of teas that were on there though, so. Uh, so what's in here? Apple, almond, cinnamon, beetroot, artificial sweet, roasted almond flavoring. Wait, what? <laughs> it's just flavoring. Uh, I, it's really good, though. It's nutty. It's, yeah, it's apple and nutty. Yeah. Which is comforting, I'd say. Yeah, I, I felt good after it. Have a potion. Yeah, that one turns purple, I think. Yeah. Probably have some more of that, uh, uh, butterfly flower or whatever. Right? Yep, there it is. Butterfly pea flowers. Uh, it's really good, though. Uh, okay, I gotta put that away for now. I'll find it later. Peppermint armor. Oh, Amor, sorry. <laughs> Peppermint armor. Uh, organics ready now. Strawberry moringa. Uh, organic common chamomile. Chamomile. I have had this. Cold 911. 
because we went to David's Tea, like an actual store one time, and we bought a fuck ton of tea. It must have come to like 50 bucks, so they just threw the two of these in just for free. Just two bags, though. Um, and honestly, it did get me through the, the most of a cold. I think it made me feel a lot better about it. It's not pleasant to drink, but man, does it make you feel good after. You feel alive again. Uh, yeah, there's eucalyptus in there. That really just like opens up everything. You can breathe again. So, worth it, for sure. Worth that much? I don't think so. <laughs> I got it for free, so it's worth it. Um, hmm, banana nut bread. Oh, man, I gotta try that one. Baked apple chai? Oh, I gotta try that one. Let's see here. Get on my face. Like mildly sweet banana nut bread. Oh, well, well of course. What do we got? Dates. Currants. Almonds. Banana. And artificial banana nut bread flavoring. How do you come up with banana nut bread flavoring? I guess it's vegan. Yeah, okay. I don't care. It tastes good. Apple, citric acid, fig spices. Interesting. Cinnamon, natural. Apple spice flavor, okay. Star anise. Ooh. Chicory, cardamom, cloves, uh, black pepper. Okay. I'd try it, but I'd only want a sample. I don't like star anise because it makes it taste like anus. No, it makes it taste like black licorice, though, and that stuff can go right back to the depths of hell where it crawled out from. Well, that's fun. Let's look at some other ones. Um, That was herbal teas. Herbal? Herbal. I don't know. Green teas. Let's see. Um, we'll just look at that, and then black teas, black teas, white teas. Eh, no one's this excluded. I don't care. Let's look at everything. What's matcha? I don't think I want that. Wait a minute. Bubble gum. A oh, green. What is matcha? Is that something I want to get into? Maybe not right now. Chai. Oh man, that stuff's so fucking good. Oh, there's just a few more. Roy boss. Now we know it's how it's pronounced. Roy boss. Gingerbread. Oh, I did try that one too. That was part of my Christmas pack. Fucking awesome. Ooh, la okay, we got a lot of tabs open. Well, we can have you know, whatever. Yeah, as many tabs as I want. Oh, this is all the uh, oolongs, though. Uh, how do you pronounce this? Oh, that's mate, not mate. I found out. Oh, oh I gotta figure out how to pronounce that one. Uh, and promise. Or? How do you pronounce it, though? I don't know. Poor? I'll just call it poor tea. Poor tea. Poor tea. Poor tea. Poor Good enough. Mate. Uh, okay, let's... Grant Queen of Tarts. That sounds amazing. I don't know. It sounds amazing. Glitter and gold? Oh! No, that's not what I'm thinking of. Okay. Cherry Berry Punch. We did have that. Really good. Pretty. That sounds interesting. Uh, vanilla Bean Black. Yeah, Organic Blueberry Jam. I think I did have that one. And it was blueberry That's for sure. It did kind of just taste like kind of blueberry water, though, I think. Country Lemonade. Sounds like good, too. Brown Black. Eh. Pal Black. Read My Lips. Uh, it's a minty one, so I don't think I'll like it. Cream of Earl Grey, I think I want to try. David's Breakfast Blends. Like an English breakfast or Canadian breakfast. Regular Earl Grey, I guess, yeah. Vanilla Cappuccino. That's actually really good. And yeah, you are seeing that picture correctly there. There is, in fact, coffee beans in this tea. I don't know who's... I thought that would be a good idea, but it's actually really good. And it does taste li more like coffee than it tastes like tea. It's fucking great. I gotta get more of that. Jeez, if I win the lottery, I'm definitely gonna buy buy them out. Cardamom French toast. Did I try that? If I didn't, I gotta. Saigon chai. I liked this one because, of course, I like spicy teas. Sometimes I like it tickling my throat, but Megan didn't like it. Chocolate macaron. I, we gotta try that. If we didn't, David's chai. I'm good for David, I guess. Maple chai. Oh, that sounds amazing. Honey black Kenyan tinder tinder it. Organic choco choo choo. No, anyway. 
Jasmine black pearls. I don't like the look of that. That looks more like dank weed weed nugs or whatever. I don't know. That's really good though. That's all the chais. Are the chais? That's black tea. I mean, whatever. Go for green tea. That's black tea. All right, melonade that had the watermelon in it or whatever. Kiwi's big adventure. Kiwi's big adventure. What is the, that a reference to? Anyway, strawberry delight sounds like delightful, I guess, but I'm not gonna try it. Decaf lychee peach. I don't think I like lychee. I like one lychee and then that's it. Um, nothing really jumping out at me. Everything else. Oh, movie night. There's a good one. Had that one the other day, and yeah, it tastes like uh, caramel popcorn. Really good. Not like, okay, caramel popcorn and just buttered popcorn uh, jelly beans, like jelly bellies. They make me just want to spew. I don't, unfortunately, but they make me want to. But it doesn't taste like that. It tastes like actual popcorn. It's really good. We tried that one the other day, remember? Yes, you were there. See some white tea. Oh yeah, that's gotta have that blueberry one there. Gratefully yours. Well, it's probably got some grapes in it, I guess. Deep blue spirulina. Awesome oh, flamingo fresco. Had that one yesterday. Palma grateful. Oh, had that one. Uh, I don't remember it very well. Probably good. I don't have any complaints. Just don't think it was very anything very special. Uh, organic Destiny's Chai. Okay, these are all the chais now. Cinnamon Rooibos Chai. That's probably good. S'mores Chai. Oh, we did have that. Oh, man. We had we bought a bunch of it, and we just flew through that. So good. Uh, let's see. There's the Organic Saigon Chai again. So we're kind of mixing things here. Maple Chai. Man, that sounds good. Organic. The spice is right. Okay. So that's probably for me. Sunshine, sunshine Chai. Let's see. And this one sounds good. Uh, what's this one? Baked apple chai. Uh, I'd try it, but I mean, that start anise I'm, makes me worry. Turmeric mingles with... Uh, what's turmeric again? Everything else sounds good, though. Ginger, cinnamon. I don't know what that is. Shredded coconut. Yeah, it sounds good. I'd try it. If I could try a sample of it, I definitely would. You can. You just walk into David's Tea and ask for a sample. Well, usually. Organic. Okay, so what's this? Uh, okay, can you just say, like, everything's organic, and then just list them off. Uh, okay, so cinnamon, green tea, orange peel, cloves, cinnamon orange flavoring, chili chili pepper. All right. I give that one a try. I'd try it. Um, gingerbread. Oh, man, that's good. Uh, green and fruity. Be the change. Hmm. What is this? Aloe glow. No carrot cupcake. We had that one on our first day here. Good. Cranberry dandelion detox. I don't think I want to drink a dandelion. I have too many of them. If you're telling me I can dry out the leaves and turn it into tea, I don't know about that. Cinnamon rooibos chai sounds good. Organic super ginger. Super ginger. I think we had that one in, well, as a, just a sample again, just to, um, I, because we had a cold. <laughs> anyway, headache, halo, sunshine, chai, Earl Grey, Earl Grey, oops, Earl Grey, Roy Boss. I really want this birthday cake one. This is Be the Change. Honey flavor. Oh, well, we gotta have that. So, rose hips. What's that? I don't know. Apple, Roy Boss, honey bush. I what? Rose petals, marigold flowers. There's lots of flowers in this. I don't know if I really want it. I mean, I'm supposedly this stuff is good, but it's still like, it's weird to drink a flower, isn't it? Ugh. All right, what else we got for loose thief? That's it. Electric lemonade. Oh, that sounds good. Chocolate covered strawberry. Yes. Just beat it. I think it tasted like beets, if I remember correctly. Buzz. I mean, it just tastes like pure honey. Like that. Uh, pungent kick of zesty, uh, sorry, spicy ginger with zesty citrus. Okay, I mean, I'd try it maybe. 
ginger apple yerba mate, green tea, lemon peel, orange peel, licorice root. Oh, definitely not. Oh, I mean, okay. Again, if I can try a sample without spending money, I would. Uh, I would try all of them, unless something was literally shit flavor or something. And look, I don't see bergamot kisses on here. Let's see if we can find it. Bergamot. I think that's how you spell it. Oh. Hang on. Make sure I'm spelling it right. Bergamot. 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 Oh, there's no T or N, I mean. Bergamot. Oh, look, it's not fucking popping up, probably because it's garbage. It's disgusting. It's probably just fucking disgusting, and they know what they're doing wrong. Isn't there a way to check these, um, clearance tees or something? Uh, T. I don't see anything for clearance. I don't know how she does it. Megan looks at stuff and she's like, oh, this is clearance, this is clearance, this is clearance. Well, who are you finding this shit? But then again, it could be just right now. There's no clearance. I wish they could show me some of the other things. All right, well, it's some kid stuff. Hibiscus Splash, okay. Rainbow Lemonade, yeah, okay. I'd definitely drink all this stuff, though. I definitely have drank, drunk all this stuff. Oh, a tea pitcher. So I can make iced tea, I guess, a little bit easier, maybe? I need one of these things. Is this an infuser? Doing a little window shopping with me now. Oh, opalescent. Anyway, no. I see this one. You can actually buy it there. It's in this exact box. This one? Strawberry wire. Okay. Oops, that's what I want. Is this an infuser? Because I could do use that. Some kind of infuser on the go or whatever. Ah, a little sippy cup. That's what I need. Perfect. Not yellow. And look at this. Make an iced tea for everyone. There's no infuser in here. Wait. Yes, there is. Holy. Okay. Anyway. That's enough looking at tea, I think. All right, I oh shit, it's already two o'clock. For those of you who stayed to watch me ramble on about tea, sorry.